When you go to the aquarium, you can encounter thousands of native animals that can swim, crawl, and fly, but you can get really close at the touch tank and even touch everything from starfish to sharks. Hey guys, I'm back here with Megan Gallipo at the South Carolina Aquarium, and we're in a pretty interactive part of the aquarium yes, right now. Yes, definitely. That this is one of the most fun places to come visit at the aquarium because you can actually get hands on with the animals and touch everything in this touch tank. So, what is in here? There's a lot of different stuff in here. Yes, and all of the animals that are in our touch tank can be found right here in the state of South Carolina. Some of them right here on our beaches, including our horseshoe crabs. Um, we have some Atlantic stingray. We have a slipper lobster, which is a really unique looking animal, and then of course our sharks where you can actually come touch a shark here and these are called chain dogfish. They're a species of shark found right offshore in South Carolina. Do people get nervous about touching a shark? Yes, they definitely do. <laughs> they get a little nervous, but then you try and you see that it's not so scary. What do you want to tell people about these sharks? Well, these sharks are a really great example of the fact that not all sharks are scary. You know, people think of shark and they think of a great white shark, but there are tons of different species of sharks of varying sizes and they're not aggressive. They're not trying to eat people or anything like that. Um, so this is a great example. Um, the chain dogfish are sharks that you can actually come right up here and touch with two fingers, feel their really unique scales on their back. They have a real specific sandpaper type of feel to them and really learn about these animals up close. Talk to me about the different, I guess, I don't know if it's tails or or what's the difference between the stingrays right here? Yeah, well these two stingrays are the same species, but unfortunately this one lost part of its tail in the ocean. We don't know exactly how that happened. We found um, this guy in the wild like that. And sometimes stingrays can get their tails um, bitten off by a predator. And sometimes people, when they catch a stingray, they don't really know where the barb is and they cut the tail off. And that's not really good for the stingrays, you can imagine. Um, and so they really can't protect themselves from predators if something like that was to happen to them. So this animal couldn't survive on his own in the wild. So we brought him here to be an ambassador animal and help us teach people about how important stingrays are. Oh, I love that so much, making a difference. Um, and then we have this area over here, but then right over here, we yes. have a lot of different animals too. I know there's some pretty big starfish yeah, in there. Talk yeah. about what's in, over there. Yep, on, our, on the other side, we have a variety of invertebrate species, other ones that you can find right on the beaches here, really familiar looking animals like sea stars. We have some urchins and even some really cute hermit crabs. Awesome, and does it hurt to touch any of those spikier animals? No, no, the, the urchins are a little spiky looking, but I always say they feel kind of like a um, pin cushion or maybe a piece of hard spaghetti, you know, so they can't hurt you. I love how you say, different foods for these animals feel. Last time yes. at the um, the shallows, you're like, oh, it feels like a wet gummy yeah. bear. <laughs> um, and the sea urchins, they like to dress up a little bit. Yeah, so we do have some decorator urchins in there. <laughs> and decorator urchins like to protect themselves and camouflage by taking shells and rocks and anything they can find in their environment and kind of covering themselves up with it. Amazing. Anything else you want to tell people about what's the best way to come in here and really um, experience these animals? Well, this is a fun spot in the aquarium. And a lot of people think it's just for kids, but we have a lot of grown-ups that come home and enjoy it as well. Because, you know, when do you get to touch a shark? You I know. know. Um, or, you know, see a live sea star. So yeah. I recommend everyone comes up on the second floor and checks out the touch tank and really uses their fingers and touches them and gets to see what they feel like. And it makes it so much more approachable, too. And Definitely. It's a lot less scary, because I know a lot of things out there in the ocean seem a, lot, a little bit scary. But right here, I mean, they're, they're friendly. They just, they want to be loved. Yeah, they're right <laughs> here for us to learn about really up close and personal. I love cool. it. Awesome. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, thank you.